Welcome back to the Anxious Tradeswoman podcast where I, your host, Louise as a party, shares what I've learned through the years, through the tears, so you don't have to. This is episode 23 and we're talking identifying as a female tradie. I would like to just quickly mention this episode's supporter, Midi's Women's Boxes Underwear. I will talk about them a little bit later on. All right, identifying as a female tradie. So what I mean by identifying as a female tradie is how you think about yourself. Do you call yourself a mechanic or a female mechanic? Insert your trade there. Or do other call you a female electrician? Also insert your trade here, like your boss or co-workers. There is, like I'm not saying if you're a woman, you need to like identify this way. It's mostly just, I'm not saying you need to do anything. It's mostly just catching if you are doing it negatively. We can use this because we can use being a female tradie for or against ourselves. And we really want to tackle if we're using it against ourselves. When we use it for ourselves, it can feel powerful. I am a female tradie. I've gone through shit to be here, but I am here because I am awesome. I can overcome this. I can overcome these challenges and I could do this through hormone changes, while bleeding, whatever your flavor is, or against ourselves. I'm a female tradie. Take it easy on me. I'm not as strong as the boys. I need some adjustments. Expect less of me. The words are the same. I am a female tradie but the feelings are very different and it can really impact the way that we see ourselves and the way we move through the world. We can also have this put on us by a boss, leader, family, people in our social circle and same thing, it can go both ways, for or against us. Check yourself. If you don't chuck female in front of your job title, that's totally fine. The thing we want to watch is when we use it against ourselves or people use it against us. If you realize someone is using being a female tradie against you, then there's a few things you can do. You can have a conversation with that, with them. Check back to episode nine where I break down having a difficult conversations and then episode 11, unconscious bias and episode 12, sexism to really break down what could be happening there and then taking action steps to walk through to work through that if someone is using being a female tradie negatively to you. If it's internal, we want to check our self-talk, which I go in deeply in episode two. So if we're internally saying this to ourselves. And in episode two, I go through like it's just a whole episode on self-talk. So we go through that. But I want to give you another tool that we can use to break this. And it is similar to like 50-50 thinking. So like 50% positive, 50% negative, like I go through in last episode. Um, It's called a thought ladder. And this is another thing that I also learned from Carmen Lowenthal and the Unfuck Your Brain podcast. So a thought ladder is literally improving your thoughts one safe, easy, reasonable step at a time. So, for example, if your thought is I am weak and we want it to go to I am strong, it can sometimes be too much of a jump and it doesn't stick. It's like another one of those things where your internal voice can roll its eyes at you. We can put in a progress word in there, for example. So we can go from I am weak to I am building strength. And we want to check in, we want to check in with our brain and our body so the way that we do this is we think do I believe that I am building strength yeah like in my instance I can I can say yeah I can believe that I am building strength and you want to sit with it yourself does it work for you and then you want to check in with your body does it feel better than the previous thought and in this example we're using I am weak I am weak just makes me want to like curl in on myself, be small. I'm building strength. It feels like it's a bit more open. I feel a bit like almost like pride in my chest. Um, it makes me want to push my shoulders back and just 
yeah, I am building strength. It feels powerful. It feels believable. Like, I believe it. If I was going to say I'm strong, I'm kind of like, it's like I, I didn't even say it that way on purpose. I, it, I am strong kind of feels a bit weird at the moment. Also, I'm on a fitness, a bit of a fitness journey, getting myself back into fitness. Um, so this is very, very relevant for myself at the moment. Um, you can do this with kind of anything. Um, if you want to believe that you are or body image, um, so the strength kind of comes into body image as well. But if you have like really self-deprecating thoughts about your body, like I'm fat, I'm ugly, like that makes you feel bad, then you can go like, I have a human body. Um, my, I'm learning to love my body rather than I love my body. Um, different things like that, those jumping words to like, I am, so instead of saying I am confident from, I am I'm anxious, I'm not confident at all, to I am building confidence. I am doing okay rather than I am going from I'm doing bad to I'm doing great, I'm doing okay. So with a thought ladder, it's literally one easy, safe step that we can reach at a time. And it's really useful because sometimes things seem so far away and it's even broken down a little bit further than um, the 50-50 thinking as well. It's just something that's in reach, that you can see it, you can feel it, you can believe it and you can start to implement it in your life. You can start changing the way that you think slightly, slightly 1% at a time, which is another Cara Lowenthal thing anyway, changing it 1% at the time. All right, so if you would like any help or support with this process, you can join my Facebook community, Trades Women Owning Their Power, or if you would like one-on-one support or you're a business wanting to make the workplace better for trades women and minorities, you can inquire through my website, louiseasaparty.com. This episode is proudly supported by Middies. If you are looking for comfortable, practical and stylish underwear, women's boxer briefs might just be the perfect choice. Um, So I actually have a code, um, Louise as a party, capital letters, no dots or spaces for 10% off. Um, That'll also be in the podcast description. Um, And also I I only wear midis underwear, let's be honest. It is the most comfortable thing ever. So on that note, I would like to thank you for listening to this episode and I will talk to you guys later.